So uh, talking about myself, uh, I am Dheeraj. I have an overall 11 years of IT experience and uh, I'm working on uh, AWS and DevOps for uh, past six years now. And uh, I'm AWS certified, I'm AWS Solutions Architect certified and uh, on the DevOps side I'm Chef certified. So I take care of complete CI CD pipeline along with AWS services. In my current project I'm working with uh, one of the top IT companies in India and uh, during part time I also take up the trainings. So all the discussions that I will be sharing with you will be uh, real time so uh, you can rely upon that that uh, all the examples would be practical and you can utilize them in your interviews and uh, uh, in the job all right so that's a brief introduction about me talking about my training experience I have delivered close to 1000 hours of uh, training on AWS and DevOps and uh, I assist uh, people with uh, uh, clearing their interviews I provide them the questions that would be asked and uh, if someone wants to clear the certification uh, then I also provide dumb questions I will be sh uh, doing the same with you as well end of the course we will be sharing some dumb questions based on that you will be getting the similar questions in exam so uh, first thing first I want to get a hold like uh, you guys are here for AWS and DevOps training both because both of them are uh, different courses like AWS is 30 hours program and DevOps is 25 hours program so in total it's gonna be 55 hours program so I just want to confirm like are you guys here for AWS and DevOps both or only for DevOps or only for AWS both you are here for both right Okay, great. Okay, and uh, was this thing uh, uh, discussed with Naveen as well? Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, because that's the good idea because uh, uh, as I said, uh, the most of the job profiles that I'm coming across right now are on uh, AWS and uh, DevOps. Uh, there is a uh, hardly any job opening on uh, AWS alone or DevOps alone they are asking the combination of uh, AWS and DevOps so that's definitely a good idea if you have opted for both and uh, uh, definitely uh, it will uh, boost up your career uh, these skills that you will learn so uh, I want to know like what time zone are you in right now are you in CST right now yes yes Okay, CST. So it's like 9.30 or 9.45 p.m. at your place right now. All of you are in CST, right? Raj, no. Jaideep. I am EST, which is one hour ahead of them. Oh, which is so quite late for you. It, it must be like... It's fine. Okay, this is... All right. So, I'm in Stan City Farm, but I usually, I usually sleep around uh, 1 o'clock or like 1 midnight, so I'm totally fine with this. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So I want to confirm with everyone is this time good for our usual training classes or uh, shall we keep it like uh, uh, in the morning hours as per your time zone? No, no, no. No, morning hour I'm working. Oh, morning hours you're working? Yes. Okay. So th th this time is good. I think already I told Alambin too and, and Navin has also told me that already I, I took all of the guys and I think the, all the guys are ready to take the class in the same time so mm -hmm. I think this time for good for everybody right right it's, it's good for I, me as well so I'm perfectly all right with with it how about you Anup is it fine with you the timings this is this is perfect for me okay uh, how about you Jaidi Raj is this time perfect for you I'm not sure I mean like my schedule is not yet fixed, so I'm trying to get my schedule fixed. Once I get it, I'll, I'll try to. Okay, no problem. You can figure that out and let us know. Sure. Okay. So, uh, guys, uh, let us begin with our journey on uh, AWS and DevOps. As I said, uh, 
both uh, AWS and DevOps are two different courses. AWS is 30 hours program and uh, DevOps is 25 hours program. So uh, the complete course will take close to six, seven weeks. Seven weeks it will take to cover from now. Uh, and after seven weeks you can start your marketing and uh, you can expect a good job after attending the training sessions. All right. So there is a quite a lot of things that uh, we will be uh, discussing, we will be learning in AWS and DevOps. So I want to give you a brief overview that uh, what exactly we will be going through in AWS and uh, what exactly we will be taking up on the DevOps side. Okay. So all these sessions will be recorded um, because I'm recording this session right now and uh, uh, all these sessions that we go through will be recorded and after the class I will write down your email IDs and I will send the recording on your email IDs on your individual email IDs you can download the recording from Dropbox I will be uploading it on Dropbox and you can download it from there alright I will be sharing a link with you alright so this is the agenda for next 30 hours on AWS okay so first uh, the uh, we will take up the first module that is introduction and getting started with AWS okay and uh, every class will be like one and a half hour long so you will have to spare one and a half hours from your schedule and uh, devote that time into the class into learning AWS and DevOps and uh, trust me it will be fruitful it will be the best investment uh, that you will be making in terms of time alright so introduction and uh, getting started with AWS will be the first module after that we will be taking up the second module that is Amazon EC2 now what is Amazon EC2 it is the virtual servers in the cloud okay so the name that uh, they have given to the virtual servers in the cloud uh, pertaining to Amazon is EC2 so we will be digging deep into Amazon EC2 uh, in the third module, we will be learning storage services and AWS CLI. So what does that mean? Now in storage services, we will be talking about a lot of storage options that we have with AWS like uh, EBS, Elastic Block Store, Amazon S3, that is Simple Storage Service, AWS Storage Gateway, and many more. So all of us are aware about the companies like Dropbox. What we can do with Dropbox, we can go there, we can upload movies or files, or photos, and share it with our colleagues, right? So not many of us know that Dropbox at the back end uses Amazon S3. So they are utilizing the services of Amazon S3 only at the back end. All right. Now, after that, we will be looking into the fourth module. Now, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you about AWS CLI. CLI is command line interface. Using the command prompt, we will be issuing certain commands to Amazon Web Services and uh, it will be performing the task rather than following the usual console way okay so we will be uh, digging deep into it then in the fourth module we will be looking into vpc and direct connect so what is that vpc and direct connect the whole aws is the public cloud it's available on the internet so it's very easy to breach the security but once you have something private of your own like your traditional data center the things become more robust right so uh, if the VPC provides you that alternative wherein you can have your own traditional data center amongst uh, the public cloud so we will learn how to set up that then in database services we will be learning the various databases like uh, MySQL relational database service then uh, uh, Aurora uh, my Ar Aurora DB 
Dynamo DB, Redshift, Elastic Cash, and uh, many other uh, database services we will be looking into. Uh, then in the sixth module, we will be looking into ELB and auto scaling. So we will be learning the concepts of load balancer and auto scaling. What is auto scaling? It's like scaling up and down as per the requirements. Okay, so if the demand is high, adding more number of servers, if demand is low, removing the extra servers. Now, then uh, in the seventh module, we will be covering Route 53 and management tools. So Route 53 is the domain name service from AWS. So it's like uh, you have purchased a domain name from godaddy.com and uh, you have hosted one EC2 server in AWS. Now you want to link the both so that anyone who tries to access the website, uh, let us say www.example.com should reach to the EC2 server, the virtual server in AWS. So we will learn about that. In the management tools, we will uh, talk about uh, various services like uh, simple, uh, we will talk about CloudWatch, CloudFormation, and uh, Lambda. So those kind of services we will discuss in management tools. Then in application services in the module 8, we will talk about the services like simple notification service, simple email service, and uh, uh, simple messaging service so we will look into that using which you can uh, get the communications done in your inbox uh, and we will also talk about elastic beanstalk now there is a very famous terminology these days that is serverless architecture that is possible because of lambda uh, so we can relate lambda with uh, any of the AWS services like s3 or uh, a relational database service and uh, whenever an event is triggered it uh, it leads to a corresponding lambda function that does the job for us so we will be looking deep into it then uh, in the module ninth we will be looking into the service called OpsWorks. Now it is a DevOps service. It is a configuration management service that basically involves a DevOps tool called Chef. So we will be leveraging the benefits of OpsWorks. And after that, we will look into IAM, that is identity and access management. Uh, that is uh, basically one of the security services from AWS. Uh, we will learn how to enable multi-factor authentication and uh, implementing roles and policies. So in the 10th module, in the last module, we will have a set of around 40 uh, dump questions. On the basis of that, you will get the similar questions in your exam. So there will be around 40 questions that we will be covering. And uh, it will also be a doubt clearing session uh, because you would have gone through the 30 hours of training and if you have any questions or any queries that will be the best time to ask.